Uh, I had just finished my Nazumi Men session, so I figure I might as well do one more uh, Metroid while I'm in a decent mood. My laptop stopped having power. Nazumi Men pissed me the hell off. And usually I'm really tired by this time, but now I'm really hyper because of that thing that was happening. So, I might as well use this energy to shoot an energy beam. Blah. Ugh, that was so good. Shoot off my beams. <laughs> That's what Samus likes to do, right? Okay. So, upon finding the ice beam, I don't want to set a marker. Get out of here. God, just get the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> no, the marker's going to sit there for the rest of the game. Ugh. Edit marker. Edit marker. Delete marker. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now I can go... Okay, I can go to that space with the people and the things right there. So. Hey, they freeze now. That's interesting. I was trying to say before in uh, earlier in this game, I was talking about Metroid or Samus Returns, the official one. And there's a post-game thing where... I've, well, they made it easier for you to get all the collectibles, first of all. So you're going to get... I got 100% on my first run, so I think it's possible. Um, as you... Apparently, as you're getting... Uh, upgrades and stuff, you'll start unlocking illustrations in the gallery. Um, I, like I said, I finished the game 100% the first time I played, so when I got to there, when I looked at the gallery that the first time, they all started showing up. So it was kind of cool. So you see all these illustrations of moments in the game are leading up to this, leading up to the end of it, I guess. And on the last one, the screen glitches out on purpose and everything turns red and you see a secret scene that sets up for Metroid Fusion where an ex parasite is attacking um one of the creatures that on this planet um because in Metroid Fusion it's on a you're on a like scientific research ship that has replicated environments from this planet that in Metroid 2 so that's why you see a lot of enemies from that game. And what I'm kind of interested in is they set up like this warring faction kind of thing. And that's what set up the X parasite And I I'm wondering where they're going to go with that. But later I found out that the reason for that is um, the developer that made Samus Returns originally pitched it to Nintendo as a remake for Metroid Fusion, which explains a lot of stuff. Um, it explains the secret uh, fusion suit that you get from using one of the Metroid Amiibos. I don't remember what it is. First of all, I think it's kind of whack that uh, the modes are unlocked th through the Amiibos. So you basically have to spend 45 bucks in total to unlock every mode. Because to unlock hard mode to is you have to get one of the videos. And to unlock the fusion suit and hard mode, in a harder mode, excuse me, that's behind another amiibo. So I don't know what's up with that. Crap. Um, oh, I see. Do, 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 do. Anyway, that's a huge secret to Metroid. I mean, they were already hinting at it a long time ago for a Metroid Future remake. I think there was a game that was a cancelled game called uh, Metroid Dread, and that was supposed to be a DS game, but uh, that didn't happen. What's up with that, Nintendo? Why don't you want games to be made in your franchises that don't get enough love? 
Why do you just want to remake everything? Huh? Huh? Fuck you. Sometimes, okay? Like, I like what you do, but you could be doing more stuff. What do you have? You don't have to keep remaking everything. You don't want to have to have these guys come out of their closet and, you know, say, Hey, I'm a game developer. Can I make this game? And then shut them down with your copyright claims and your and your cease and desist. Okay. What even are these things? They're just getting up ready to die. Okay, I don't have to get any more Metroids. I can just fly around like a monkey. I was yeah, I mean, I was kind of confused as why they would put the X parasite in a secret cutscene, because that doesn't happen until two games later. <laughs> I thought you would think they would find some way to set it up for Super Metroid at the end, but I don't know. They're weird, man. They're messing with the lore of Metroid. They need to be banned and stopped. Do, 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 do. Also, I hope Metroid Prime 4 is good. Uh, as far as everyone knows, it's being made by the same team who made uh, Federation Force, and that is a gigantic red flag. They better not have it be <laughs> where you play as your own custom character from Metroid, your own Metroid Sona, your own Hunter Sona, and you have to you team up with Samus and press the X button to go really fast and it sings the Metroid theme song. No, please no. God no. Ugh. Hey, I thought it was done. Hey, hey, hey. This is supposed to be your weakness? Yeah, what's up with this? This is supposed to be the weakness of the Metroid? And it's sitting here not being the weakness. Come on, game developers, get with it! <laughs> You're messing with the Metroid lore! This Metroid isn't weak to ice! And now it's dead to ice. Okay, briefly, I'm gonna talk about my experience with a little, 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 little game called. Um, Now what would they put up here? Um, nothing. Nothing in fact. I'm assuming that means I can go down now, wherever down is. I didn't really, I didn't really explore that whole thing over there, but that's okay. Wow! Okay, it just connects to here. But I can go in lava now, right? Yes, I can. One pattern scan okay I didn't mean to do that that was an accident I'm sorry I won't do it again okay um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the very first game that I have played <laughs> of a Xenoblade Chronicles wait so then there's Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade Chronicles X which I have no idea where it is in the timeline and then Xenoblade Chronicles 2 why did they make why do they make one X and then two? Uh, I don't get it. Wait, how did I get here? Oh wait, that opened up. Wait, what? How do I get back down? This is the question I'm trying to ask myself. Oh, okay. See... All it takes is a little exploration and, uh, and you can find what you're looking for eventually. But the thing about I don't like Oh see this is interesting. Look at those guys. Look at look at them, they're dying. Isn't that cool? Hey buddy, you need help. I need help. What is this supposed to be? The Omega Metroid? Okay. I don't know what you're gonna do. At least I have more defense. That's cool. Whoa! It made an earthquake. Wow! Hey! I like Samus' falling down animation. I don't like this getting killed by stuff animation. 
It's not weak to Ice Beam. See, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, guys that behind this game's team. They're supposed to at least like hit them for a weak amount. Hey, I don't like that. Hey, 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 hey. Now, I don't remember the last time I saved. I just remember that I saved. Hey, I don't like that. Let's try some super missiles. <laughs> That's not out. Can I get at least one in? Can I get at least two in? I'm getting fucked. I don't like this. Dude! The AI <laughs> is good. It does a lot of different things. It just doesn't know when to not put you in the corner so you die. So I was already at low health anyway. That's fine. Wow. I I need to remember the importance of saving. Anyway, what I'm, here's my experience with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, I thought it was going to be an action RPG, not a a single player version of WoW. <laughs> um, okay, here's why I say that. It's because when you go battle, you auto attack. And you kind of just watch them do their stuff until you can press a button for special. That I was not really expecting. So, a lot of. The, whoa! <laughs> a lot of the time, I was just like watching them shoot or watching them attack and it was getting kind of dumb for a while but when you when you can get the specials off it looks kind of cool and you have to do a little quick time event which keeps you engaged I guess uh, and then when you get to the level 3 there's a little cutscene and they do a super awesome, amazing attack. And once you see all all of them, they start kind of losing their luster for a while. And eventually, you just know how to make a combo chain. What was kind of fun is setting up or figuring out compositions between the elements, where you have to. Because we like say when you use fire, that branches off to ice or electric. So you have to figure out which other blades you want to have in your team that have those elements so they can do the next super or uh, special. I thought the earth was going to tremble. Okay, thank you. So why did it not finish here or did it have to leave the room first? Probably had to leave the room first or something. Oh, I shouldn't have to do that. Okay, I had to wait for it to tell you that. And, um,. Anyway, plot-wise of the game, I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's kind of like watching in straight-up anime, because of how dramatic it gets. I, I sometimes forget, forget that the game is teen, and you see a lot of swearing and innuendos and stuff like that. And it, it, I completely forget all the time. I guess I use it sparingly enough that I don't... That I'm not just rolling my eyes at it, like, oh, of course, of course, would I do that? Except for when <clears throat> there's a boss that's a giant chibi robot maid woman, and that's where I'm like, you know what? That is so something they would do. And it's the kind of joke boss, it's not really much of a challenge. Um, but it was fun, it was funny. I'm doing a lot better right now. Don't want to get okay. Just get. You have no iframes during this. 
Like, I don't want to get tossed around a bunch. And I just... See, that's kind of bullshit. When you jump behind it, and it turns around before you can even land, that's kind of stupid. Nice, me. I need to constantly... So, what then? Can you just not get behind it? Oh, you can shoot the back? Or did it just hit it? Oh, you can! It's like, slightly exposed. See, I'm not down... Will you stop? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck off! <laughs> I'm doing this thing where I say, okay, <laughs> like, uh, the game does something hard, and I, as I, I know what to do as it's happening, so I'm like, okay, that was a good one, but what, what, what's next? Ah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, thank you, God. See, I, I wish I wouldn't feel like that after one of those bosses. Oh, it's a little galactic compound thing. This is cool. Hey, super missile. Too bad all those guys are dead now. Anyway, Xenoblade 2 plays like an anime, it feels like a game, um, and it's pretty fun. Uh, the side quests are not what I think they would be. A lot of them are get material quests, or uh, excuse me, a lot of them are like, okay, imagine a, a blade, right? It's your demon, or your Shin Megami Tensei demon, or your persona thing, or whatever. It's a thing that you bring with you on your adventure, and you can equip like three of them at a time. And they all have uh, field abilities. This is like HMs in Pokemon. So certain ones can do certain things on the field, but you have to level that skill up by doing arbitrary stuff. Like... Uh, Oh, use this character's favorite item from the food category. First of all, you can't really know that stuff unless you just run through the options. Or get every single food thing and then just use them all on that thing until it says, Hey, this is the character's favorite thing. Um, that part, I feel like I have to look up because I don't want to waste a food item. Second of all, that's stupid. Um, hey, I fell through the ground now. Now I can leave. And did it say there's another Metroid? Or no? Whoa, I forgot about those guys. And that's kind of some of the quests where you have to go on something on the field. And it's like, oh, it needs five super strengths. And you go to your one blade that has super strength and it's level two. And you have to figure out, look at the ability tree and say and go okay what's it need use this character's favorite instrument from the instruments thing it's like okay also there's this things called overdrives that are very scarce during the game where let's say you activate a blade on a character and you decide wait a minute i want to switch this blade to another character so i can have different composition um you have to use a thing called overdrives. They, I used like two on accident and I didn't know what I was doing. And now those blades are just stuck on the character I have. I didn't really want them on. And there's no way to get them. It kind of sucks. So you're just really stuck with that. Um, there's also things called Backpack expanders that I didn't know about. 
and I, I used them for the first time yesterday because I was trying to figure out how to beat these two new two bosses and they're really hard so I was like okay what else can I equip I can only equip two things on this character why isn't there a way that I can put on more and sure enough there's an option at the bottom of the screen where it says expand item with a thing and I only had two what a hundred hours in the game and I only had two and I never noticed they were there so I had to use them both on two different characters and that's how I did it I guess but it didn't really specify that you could do that whoa stop please I need to get at a decent stopping point because I know this is going on for a while okay wait what is down here first All right. There's probably a power up, but I don't care. I'm I've decided I'm most likely not going for completion. I'm just here for the experience. Okay. Ooh, bubbly zone. Okay, there's three metroids here. I'm gonna put a stop to this right now. <laughs>